Hey guys, it's Dami and welcome back strollers to week one of Vlogmas. <laughs> Vlogmas. I'm starting off this day um, with something I've been meaning to do for a while, which is henna my hair. Um, and I know that like previously I only knew henna about like for like body art, but it's actually really good for like strengthening your hair um, and conditioning it and just making it stronger and healthier and helping it grow. This is gonna be, I think, my fourth time henna, henna ing, hen putting henna in my hair. Um, and I always order from this brand called Henna Souk um, because their henna is like all natural um, and it's really not that expensive. So if you haven't ever henna your hair, um, I recommend you try and such so it comes like this you really should be using gloves um but i don't have enough time to get gloves um so you need some hot water or just warm it's not supposed to be hot um i got some oil i read this is i haven't usually bought this but i got some aloe vera powder to put in it to really help um moisturize the henna Okay, so I got it open. I'm probably only going to use half of the bag. Um, it's really powdery, so you have to like be careful when you pour it in. This is what it looks like. Oh, to come out. Oh my gosh, it's so like powdery. Oh my goodness, it's getting everywhere. And henna does add a little bit of color to your hair, but only if you do it like several times especially because my hair is so dark and if you like see it in the light it's just a little bit browner um but it fades over time also so. okay um i'm just gonna add my aloe vera powder this is it going in probably only using a little oh i feel like that's even enough you barely even see how much i added but you really don't need that much because it spreads around really well i feel like i'm a hair channel now but i don't even know what i'm talking about warm water it's to release the dyes and just a little at a time you definitely want it more liquidy than this though i'm just gonna add some of my um conditioner right now mix it in and add some of my oil i only have coconut oil because i have to go buy some other types of oil but um and i put it in like a jar like this so that i can just like cover it and store it um later you can put it in the fridge or you can put it in the freezer i think it's done so i'm just gonna cover it and let it sit in the sun to release the dyes okay so i tried to put some of the leftover henna on my face to see if i can get those like trendy henna freckles or whatever um i don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna let it dry but i'm also simultaneously trying to do a lab for my anatomy class an at home lab um and it's a urine analysis which is really gross to do at home um it's just really gross in general honestly i understand how they work i just wouldn't so that's what i'm trying to do and yeah five hours and a crappy attention span later and we're done studying i'm going to check on my henna to see if i can put it on my hair the henna freckles didn't really work. You can't really see that it didn't really work. I mean, you, never mind. You can see that it did, didn't really work. But I think that's because the dye wasn't fully released. Also, like, freckles are typically darker than your skin tone, but henna stains lighter than my skin tone. So it wouldn't work on my face. It wouldn't look like freckles, basically. But I guess I would need a different type of henna. But I'm not... Too much fuss so let's go check on the henna and probably apply it to my hair and yeah so i'm officially ready to do the henna um it's released the dyes released i'll probably add some of this organic fenugreek powder into it also i have gloves because henna does stain that's where the color comes from um spray bottle and a plastic bag and you know, a towel um, to start. So let's get started. So 
I'm done applying it and now I'm just gonna cover it, sleep with it, and probably tomorrow morning wash it off. That should be like a good like 12 hours with it just sitting there. The difficulty with sleeping with it though is that you have to make sure it's well wrapped or else the stain will get all over your pillow and all over anything that you're doing. So it's a very tricky situation. But yeah, it's all henna. Anyway, strollers, that's the end of this video. I've got my hair all wrapped up. And I know it wasn't that much of an eventful day, but honestly, that's what I did today. And it wasn't very Christmassy, which is sad because I'm still taking classes. But I actually realized I'm not the only YouTuber doing like a modified um, Vlogmas. Like this YouTuber that I watch, Bobby Maris, he's also doing a modified Vlogmas where he posts a couple videos a week. So I guess I'm in the trend. Anyways, um, be sure to subscribe and like this video and go watch the first video if you haven't. But yes, I will be vlogging the month of December. So stay tuned for fun videos.